Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Woodland Pools. Today, we're going to take a look at the Cardano roadmap. So if you're new to Cardano and you're curious about the long-term plans for the project or you're curious where it's going, this video is for you. We're going to start by looking at a high-level overview of the five eras. We'll see where we're at today, and we'll take a look to see what's coming up in the future. As always, if you like the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on notifications. And if you appreciate the work we do here and you want to support the channel, consider delegating to our Aspen stake pool, which we'll link below. So let's go ahead and jump in. We're looking here at the Cardano roadmap, and we're just at roadmap.cardano.org. We'll link this below as well. But So basically, the roadmap has five main eras. Byron, Shelley, Gogan, Basho, and Voltaire. So let's start with first things first, and let's jump into Byron. So Byron's all about foundations, right? This is getting everything working and getting it off the ground. So <clears throat> Cardano is a third-generation blockchain. And if you don't know what we mean by third generation, we highly recommend that you watch the now-famous Charles Hoskinson whiteboarding video, and we'll link that below. So the goal of Cardano is to address the three strategic challenges facing all blockchain networks, scalability, interoperability, and sustainability. The first incarnation that we saw here with Byron allowed users to buy and sell the ADA, crypt ADA cryptocurrency across different uh, blockchain exchanges. So if you've been slowly accumulating your ADA over the years, buying it on different exchanges, um, then you've been living in the Byron era. It also introduced the groundbreaking Ouroboros consensus protocol, which was the first proof of stake protocol created on the basis of academic research with mathematically proven level of security. So these white papers that were published were peer reviewed by academic institutions all over the world. Byron is also what introduced the delivery of the Daedalus wallet. So Daedalus is a wallet built on top of a fully functioning Cardano node that is synced up to the rest of the Cardano network. Um, additionally, if you don't want to have a full Cardano node running on your desktop for your wallet, there's a lighter version called Euroi, which is a light wallet and it also has a, a mobile application you can download onto your smartphone. So we were living in Byron for a long time. And then next came Shelley, which is actually the era that we're in now. So Shelley is all about decentralization. The Shelley era of Cardano was a period of growth and development for the network and the early steps in Cardano's journey to optimize decentralization. So what we saw with Shelley was the introduction of delegation and incentives 